The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, has reported that 90% of Gaza's population has been displaced as a result of successive evacuation orders issued by Israeli forces. The mass displacement, which began in October 2023, continues as the Israeli army advances deeper into Gaza and issues new evacuation orders for various areas, including Deir el-Balah and Khan Yunis. According to Mohanad Hadi, the UN's humanitarian coordinator for the occupied Palestinian territory, these mass evacuations have severely constrained aid operations and choked the survival of those forced to flee. Hadi's statement on X highlighted the dire situation, emphasizing that civilians, many already displaced multiple times, are being moved into increasingly overcrowded and unsafe areas with limited access to essential services. Yesterday, tens of thousands of civilians were ordered to evacuate from four neighborhoods in Deir el-Balah and Khan Yunus. The evacuation orders also affected humanitarian staff from various UN agencies and NGOs, who play a critical role in supporting the displaced population. The ongoing evacuations have led to a significant reduction in essential services. In Deir el-Balah, the water supply has decreased by at least 70% due to the shutdown of pumps and desalination plants located in evacuation zones. The severe shortage of chlorine for water disinfection is exacerbating the situation, with reserves expected to last only one more month. This has led to a rise in diseases, including skin infections, hepatitis A, and polio. The situation for civilians in Gaza is increasingly desperate, with families forced to move repeatedly under fire, carrying only what they can manage. The UN and other humanitarian organizations continue to call for the protection of civilians, the release of hostages, and the facilitation of humanitarian access as critical steps towards addressing the escalating crisis.